let's have a look at today's selection. Sorry for it to be echoing I'm in the kitchen today. Um, useless information. So today I've added a number of new leagues for the bottom pack. I'll probably drop a short video soon to just explain what leagues we've got going on through uh, the World Cup because we've got a ton more now. So you can see we've got the National North, National South. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce that. East I don't know. Never known. Um, Northern League and Germany Regional Southwest. Um, and we've also got all the ones that I mentioned yesterday, Ukraine, um, Turkey one, a couple of others. So basically we've got plenty to be going on with and each day I'm going to be looking at what's on offer and just creating um, Poisson formulas for each of those. So we're going to have loads to go with. Um, and as I was explaining to my members on my email, just these are really good leagues actually for betting on because you won't always get the scrutiny that you will on the bigger leagues. There's not as much information available. And the odds won't always have as um, as much to the odd makers won't always have as much to go on to to set those starting odds. Um, on top of that, you'd also get a lot of casual punters that will be scrambling around for something to bet on. You know, uh, I've been there myself in the past, not quite to that extreme, but you know, when there's nothing in in the top European leagues to bet on, just sort of having a look at some of the smaller leagues and sort of saying, well. You know, um, I recognise I recognise that name from a few years ago. They used to be in the football league. I'll, I'll have a bet on them. They're going to win. When in fact they haven't looked at the form. They haven't done anything um, to do with sort of how they've been in the last few seasons. They could be rock bottom, uh, but they're like the look of the name. And a lot of people are doing it. It'll make the odd shift, um, and we can nip in and take advantage of the value. So it's it's an interesting sort of period for us now because it. You, what you need to realise is it doesn't matter what you're betting on if it's value betting. As in, what I mean by that is it's nice to be able to say to friends and family, oh, I predicted that um, you know uh, Newcastle would beat Man City this weekend because I do some value betting and I, I looked at the odds and you know, and they'll understand it more. If you're saying, oh, I predicted that games would beat Man Twitch away, yeah, I know it doesn't look as glamorous, but at the end of the day, the money that you're putting on it's worth the same if you're betting on Man United, Barcelona, Real Madrid, or if you're betting on Nantwich, Gainsborough, Illerica. It doesn't matter. So if you're still getting the value, just keep in mind that it, it's just the sort of psychological thing looking at the glamorous teams and the glamorous leagues. If you're in it for value rather than just casual betting, then this is a perfect opportunity for you to carry on when others are stopping and you know really take advantage of any of the swings in odds. So that said... Let's have a look at this. So we're looking at Nantwich games for today. Now this is there were three on the value tab um, that the members will all see. Um, I mean, there's about six altogether, but there were three that I was particularly interested in. I made notes on the first two, thinking one of these two are going to be the ones that I share. And then I came across across this game and thought, well, this one's definitely definitely trumped them. So um, Nantwich are a sort of um, I think they're 20th in the league. Um, they've won one and lost four of the last five home games. Uh, they did win their last game, so that you know gives them a little bit more credit in the bank, but they lost the four previous home games. Um, Gainsborough, on the other hand, are um, second in the league. Nantwich are 20th. Second in the league. They're unbeaten away from home in all eight games that they've played this season. They've only conceded three goals away from home. Uh, and they average three goals scored away from home, which is a fantastic record. Um, in the last five games, they've won all five, uh, scoring 17 and conceding only one. I mean, let that sink in. That's an amazing away record. And I thought, because when I saw these stats come out for Poisson, I thought there must be something wrong with my formula. So I had a quick look, checked everything was right, and it was. So I thought I'd do a bit more digging. Looked at the stats that I've just talked to you about there and thought, OK, I can see, I can see some potential with this one. And then I even went over to the Gainsborough website to see what was going on uh, in terms of team news. What if half the team was out with COVID and I didn't know about it? Um, but it all seems fairly well. Not only that, Clayton Donaldson plays for Gainsborough. Who knew that? I mean, some of you, a lot of you probably won't even know who Clayton Donaldson is. Clayton Donaldson's an ex uh, Jamaica international striker who played for Blues. He played for Blues along with a number of other teams. I know he played for Bradford after Blues. I can't remember where Blues signed him from. I want to say Southend or Brentford. I think it was Brentford, you know, before Brentford got big. Yeah, it was Brentford. Um, but he's a brilliant striker, a real good pro. I loved him down the Blues. Uh, proper goal scorer. And I, I mean, I know he's old now. He's probably like 35. No, well, maybe 36, 37. But still, 
He's been playing ever since um, he left the the football league. Um, I need to. Uh, yeah, it was mad. I was looking through the teams. I just saw that he was playing up front. Started from this year, so I'm backing him all day long with Clayton Donaldson up front. Um, but no, in all seriousness, the the record that they've got, uh, you know, it stacks up to that 1.21 that Potton's predicting. So to get 2.24, um, I think that's an amazing value option, a value proposition. You know, it's away from home. Away fixtures do have a lot more toll on players in the lower leagues, in the non-league, because of the travelling, because of people working full-time and then travelling to games. Um, pitches are often sort of hit and miss. Uh, so the home team will have an advantage in terms of being able to play on that pitch. Um but still, with that taken into account, I still think it's a good value proposition. So that is the one that I'm going for today. I'm going for gains for away. Um, if we have a quick look at yesterday's, what a day yesterday. A, a clean sweep. We lost every game yesterday <laughs> on the value selections tab. Uh, it's the worst I've ever done. Um, yeah, n none of them come in, so we can have a look. Uh, we had nil-nil. This one, we were looking for an away win. So, I mean, the value there, to be honest, this wasn't one that I put out there on YouTube. That it, it was value, but it was sort of, that was still the underdog. So, you know, but nil-nil was probably a good result for them. Um, in Serie C, we looked for an away win here, which was more sort of in line with what we should have seen. Um, but we ended up with nil-nil, so couldn't quite get that. I mean, they're close, aren't they? Obviously, it's not like a, a mile away. Uh, the unders did come in, but I didn't necessarily tip that, but the unders came in. Um, Ajax Den Bosch ended up 4-4, which is mental. Um, it's a crazy old league. Um, the Eerste Division in the Netherlands, the, the goals do just fly in quite often. I mean, there was said it was value in the unders, but it was still unlikely. Um, but yeah, we were expecting an Ajax win, which just about didn't come in. I mean, this one was a complete turnaround, wasn't it? We were looking for value in the away win. Um, and it was a 3-0 home win. Let's have a look a bit further down. Santa Clara, this is the one that I predicted. Um, there was massive value. I still stand by it. There was massive value, but it did not pan out that way, and it ended 3-1. And then in the Primera Liga 2 in Portugal, we had two draws, both at 1-1. Happily, one of them, which was the Mafra game, was one of my draw selections for members yesterday. Um, so that came in. So I was delighted with that. We were in profit for that. Um, but yeah, it wasn't wasn't a great day. So we ended up on minus seven. Uh, and if we look at the twelve day profit now, we've took a hit and we're down to twenty points for twelve day profit. Um, obviously, twelve. Sorry, that's fourteen. No, isn't it? we didn't start on the first, did we? No, twelve days. So um, I mean, yeah, it's still a great profit. But if you look at the thirteenth, we're on twenty seven, and now we're on twenty because that's twenty seven minus seven. Um, so hopefully. Some better luck tonight. Well, not necessarily luck, a little bit of luck, but it is judgment, so I can't blame it all on luck. Um, so, yeah, we'll see how we get on tonight. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, as usual. I know I sound like a broken record, but uh, yeah, take it easy.